Hello and welcome to the tip of the day. I'm Dr. Amy Starr with the Mesa Veterinary Clinic, Paws and Hose Mall Veterinary Services, and San Francisco Stables. And we're helping El Paso help their pets. So today I want to talk about um, Dr. Google and trusting your vet and having a relationship with your vet and what you can gain from that um, as our tip of the day. So basically, there's a lot of information out on the internet these days, which is awesome. It gives us a lot of um, empowerment and knowledge to help us make better choices and to become more informed but well, there's always not the most correct information. Um, I've even seen information such as do not give parvo patients IV fluids, which is the worst information ever, or um, it's okay to give ibuprofen or Advil to dogs, which is also the worst information. It's extremely toxic. So um, what I recommend is that you find a vet that you're comfortable with. Um, build a relationship with that vet and get to know um, and communicate with the veterinarian so that you have a trusting relationship and you can ask them questions of, of things that you're concerned about. Um, basically, you know, your pets are just like your, your, your children and so the veterinarian is just like your pediatrician. You want to make sure and build that relationship. Um, ask them questions, get to know them, see what type of communication um, that they have. Everybody, just like you know, in any field, every veterinarian has a different way of communicating and of treating and diagnosing and things like that. And so um, there are some things that, that are the same, but there's also some things that can be different. So find somebody that you really relate to and click well with and that you can um, create that long-lasting relationship that would last for your pet's life. And that way when uh, problems do come up or concerns or worries do come up, you have somebody that you can go to and you can ask those types of questions. And just have that communication and say, hey, um, you know, I'm worried about this, what do you think, or, or et cetera. If you do like searching online and finding information, great. But make a copy of that, either print it out or keep it on your phone, and bring it in and ha you know schedule an appointment with your veterinarian. Bring in the information that you found online, and discuss that with your veterinarian. Say, hey, you know, I found this information online. Can you tell me what you think about it? And you know, veterinarians spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to go to school, and we're paying off those loans for all of our career usually, and we also invest our entire lives, you know through high school, getting good grades, um, college, getting good grades, getting experience, volunteering and working um, at different clinics, and then on into um, veterinary school. Uh, so we dedicate years and years of our lives and hundreds of thousands of dollars because we love animals, because we're passionate about animals. We want to improve their health, we want to improve um, their livelihoods, and we want to improve your relationship that you have with them. And so, um, trust us, you know, and, and um, build that relationship and ask us questions that you have concerns about when you're doing research and stuff. And if you have any questions about what kind of things that you should ask a vet when you're finding your first vet, go ahead and ask us. I'll be more than happy to talk to you about it. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.